Over two years ago, the trailblazing American composer George Walker died in New Jersey at the age of 96. We celebrate his miraculous story of first. A trained pianist and organist, he wrote nearly a hundred compositions from symphonies and concertos to delicate song cycles and solo piano works. In 1996, Walker broke an extraordinary color barrier with his work for voice and orchestra Lilacs, a setting of Walt Whitman poetry premiered by the Boston Symphony Orchestra. He became the first African-American to win the Pulitzer Prize for music. George Walker lived a life of firsts. On top of his 1996 accolade, he was one of the first black graduates of the Curtis Institute in Philadelphia in 1945 the first black musician to play New York's Town Hall in 1945, the first black recipient of a doctorate from the Eastman School in 1955, and the first black tenured faculty member at Smith College in 1961. In the early years, he played prestigious solo engagements, but being the first black often meant being confronted with the scourge of racism that limited his opportunities to perform. In 1982, in a New York Times interview, he said, I was the first black pianist to have a successful New York Town Hall debut, the first to play with the Philadelphia Orchestra. It was then I discovered the stigma of race. For the, first, for the next five years, I was on my own. While his performance got rave reviews, he said, those successes were meaningless because without the sustained effect of follow-up concerts, my career had no momentum. And because I was black, I couldn't get either major or minor dates. We can't sell you, managers would tell me. My contemporaries at Curtis were assured of 25 to 30 concerts a season, but I was lucky if I got seven. It was like being excommunicated from society. I was unwanted. My father finally said, they're not going to give you what you deserve. You're going to have to teach. So I took a job in New Orleans at the Dillard University. I became very tense and developed an intestinal ulcer. I'd never been anxious before, but I was now faced with the insurmountable barrier. No matter what I did, I couldn't get through to an implacable concert world, couldn't make a living the way I wanted to. I felt helpless. Everything was going wrong. Walker later received a Fulbright and studied with Nadia Bollinger in Paris. He said, at my first lesson, I showed her a song. She said she thought it was a masterpiece. She obviously respected me, and that was tremendously encouraging. Later, Walker joined the Atlanta Symposium, a group of mostly Black composers. Being Black had hindered my career as a pianist, but here, it actually helped me as a composer, he said. The Atlanta Symposium proved there were Black serious composers in this country that took place just a few months before Martin Luther King's assassination, when the civil rights movement was fermenting force. When I understood that, at last, I would be able to get my works performed, I really had an incentive to compose but his compositions, he says, there's no way I can conceal my identity as a black composer. I have a very strong feeling for the Negro spiritual and I have also drawn from American folk songs and popular patriotic tunes, which I believe merit inclusion in serious compositions. This piece, Blue, was written for Walker's son, a violinist. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> 